In this section, we're going to continue our exploration of animation, and particularly we're going to look at how we can create animated characters. That is, how we can import rigged characters and redeploy different animations onto those characters. So we're going to look at clever ways in which we can even recycle animations from one character and redeploy that onto another character. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can import an animated character into our Unity project, and then also how we can configure the basic properties of that character to work optimally. In this final section of the course, we're going to focus on character animation, specifically inside Unity. Now, for character animation, pretty much all of your content, the character models and the animations themselves, will be created in third-party applications. This might be Blender, Maya, 3ds Max, or other third-party content applications. Typically, that animation will be brought into Unity. The question for us, is, in terms of Unity development, is how can we take that imported animation content and then make it work as we need it to on our character models? I have a scene here inside Unity, and this is included in the course companion files in the project char anim, which you can see here. It includes this pretty much empty Unity scene called main scene here. In addition to that, I have gone ahead and imported this character model, this zombie model here. When I select the character model, you can see the character here inside the object inspector. In the preview window here, I can click and drag to rotate around and view the character model in more detail here. Now again, we're going to be taking this character model, which has been rigged and configured inside Blender here, so a third-party application. This character has already been configured for character animation, has two arms, two legs, a head, and a torso, and the rig has been configured for that. I have now imported this into Unity, and the question is, how can we actually take animation content and apply it to this model. Now the great thing about Unity's Mechanim avatar system is that we can take many different characters from many different sources, short characters, tall characters, all kinds of large characters, small characters, it doesn't really matter, we can take any kind of humanoid character and reuse a whole range of animations on those characters to bring them to life. This means that we can even download animations from third-party animation libraries and apply them to our existing characters with minimal work involved. We're going to be seeing how we can do all of that in this section. And in the next video, I'm going to take this imported zombie character